beautiful day to you. This is Speak Out on VOS TV. On this show, we discuss real life situation and provide solution from our point of view. I am Sarah Uwadia. I'm joined with two amazing personality, Naomi, Jato, and Nosa. How are you doing? You look amazing. <laughs> thank you very Sarah, much. Sarah, thank you very much. And you look uh, fabulous. This wow, thank today. you. <laughs> look at your hair. I love your hair, Naomi. Well, and, and, now, and yeah. now me on the other side, she looks more or less natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Natural, I think, I think, on the I think point. You call, this, you call this virgin hair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hair. So, uh, mm -hmm. She's looking fabulous too. <laughs> and uh, I'm also privileged to be among ladies. Uh, blessed <laughs> that I'm yeah. here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> now to the story. Sandra was a graduate of University of Benin. While in school, she had a boyfriend called Matthew. Both of them did so many stuff together, like smoking up Indian hair, drinking, and threesome. After graduation, Sandra went, moved to Lagos and, had a, and met a new guy called Stalin. Both of them started dating. Three years down the line, Stalin proposed to Sandra, and both, Stalin decided to take Sandra to, his, to meet his parents for cadre introduction before the main introduction. She was welcomed well, and during the, during the course of the chat, Stalin's younger brother walked in. And behold, it was Matthew, her heirs. And she, due to the, she was shocked and she ran away from the house. And everybody, everybody was in shock, like the mother except Matthew, who actually knew what happened and who actually knew the past between both of them. Stalin decided to call lead, um, Sandra to find out what actually happened. Why did she leave the house like that? Let's pause there. Um, Miss Ma Naomi, we, the story is not yet concluded. There are some parts, but I just want to ask a simple question. Um, if you are Matthew's younger, if you are Matthew, that has seen the, um, Stalin's younger brother, will you tell your brother about the past between you and Sandra? Um, I don't, the past is in the past. It's, it's a story to tell, not mine. Oh. So if you are Matthew, you won't, you won't say a thing to your brother? In fact, it never existed. Wow. No, sir. So what will you do? <laughs> no, the situation is dicey somehow. But okay. um, to me, I really need to do a man-to-man -man discussion with my brother to know what is really going on between... Man-to-man -man discussion. Yeah, between uh, him and the, the, girl. the, the, the lady in yeah. question. Fine, from the discussion, the discussion will not decide, will not uh, determine if I will let the cat out or not. Or not. Okay. But uh, if my brother happens to like open up and tell me that uh, I am in love with this girl, I want to do everything possible to like okay. uh, make her a life partner and all of that, I think it will be more sensible for me to logically presents the past to him because I felt, I agree that the past is the past. Okay. But somehow, uh, So in the, summary, you will tell? Yeah, I... You will tell in summary. Okay. I, I might. I might okay, tell Okay, him. okay, okay. Let's conclude the story. Um, Matthew decided to take um, Sandra, uh, Sandra's number from the brother to call Sandra. Yes, it did, and because Sandra doesn't know the number, she had to pick because she refused. To, she refused. To, she, did, she didn't pick Stalin's number actually, so she picked, and Matthew gave a proposal to her, which is, since we lost contact, there's no lady that's able to satisfy me on dead, except you, during our days. Since then, I've not been able. I've not gotten myself, as in, I'm not satisfied that way. I won't tell my brother about our past. All you just to do, marry my brother, pretend nothing happened. But all you need to do is to be servicing me. That was the proposal I gave to Sandra. So, Naomi again, let me ask you a question. You're a girl. So if you were the one, or if you are the one in that situation, what would you do? Um, the thing is, there is no way I'm going to go back to Matthew. Mm -hmm. That is, let's establish that first of all. Okay. And, um, for me, what I'll do is, I'll, that is the time when I feel I should tell the brother what happened. So I'm just going to call him and 
tell him, okay, mm -hmm. this and this happened before. Tell and this, yes, tell the brother what happened. And then, and then let him know that this okay. is the reason why I let like, him, if I, I let perish, him. I perish kind of thing. Yes, then I'll tell him, this is what happened. This is where your brother okay. was. And since I'm not okay. going to give uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. him. Okay, I have another question for you, but not now. Let me ask, Mr. Nosai, if you are the one, what will you do? Just imagine you are the um, lady, you are Sandra. What will you do? Somehow I will concur with what uh, Naomi said, but to me, I think the guy make as in give you that proposal mm -hmm. is devilish. Oh. Because already from the storyline, this lady in question, she has turned a new leaf. Yeah. And uh, probably she is now the in quotes, the born again type. Type, yeah. Now you are still coming as a as satanic as you will be in the past. In the past. Still proposing to, uh, uh, as in unwholesome or immoral act, uh, immoral presentation again to this lady that uh, let's continue what we did before yeah. and everything will go with that, with that look. Um, I think if the lady decides to keep it to herself, she's stupid. No. Uh, I think the best thing for us to do is that's the best time or begs uh, situation to let the whole thing out. Just say it. But let me be sincere with you. After saying it, it's very, very certain that relationship okay. will not work again. Okay. The third question, which is the last question. Naomi, if you were Stanley, or if you are Stanley, what will you do after? Sandra comes to meet you and tell you, oh, I did threesome with your brother. Remember, the threesome, she's the only girl. It was not Stanley's, it was not Matthew's friend and Matthew. Mm -hmm. So just imagine a girl with two boys at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's not that, that way the, norm, the regular threesome we normally see. So, and we, we drank, we, I took it the hem and every other thing. Will you take her back and continue with the wedding plan or you would dissolve everything? And that depends actually. Um, if you know some persons, everybody has a past. Yeah. There is nobody without a past. Nobody okay. was born immaculate. Okay. You get it now. So um, if she has not, let's say, um, during the course of our dating, okay. she is not um, forming holy from, like, what is the people that tell you they've been holy from childhood? Oh, okay. And she hints me that, okay, I have a past, you yeah, know. Okay. I've had this, I've had that. That is understandable. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to, okay. What if there was no ink? Let's say she projected herself to me as as, like as holy and holy. Good girl from the onset. Oh, that's the end now. I won't be able to take her back. But, but if, if she, she decides, if, if, she is, if, she is, if she happens to be in the school of thought that past is past. So let me let me deal with this guy with the future, my present and future. No, not all past are past for a, a serious relationship. The person has to know your past because these things then our past sometimes come back to haunt us. That's so true. even if you are not telling the person that okay, I am in the past I smoked, no, you could just say I had a rough life. You know, I did some really not nice things. Okay, that doesn't mean you must come out. Okay. But if you have hinted, so, like, if she has hinted me, so you accepting but accepting her back is based on. If she hinted in the past, okay. that, uh, you understand. Past is okay. the past now. No, sir. Like uh, what Naomi said, the foundations really matter. Mm -hmm. Fine, she has already laid a very bad foundation based on youthful exuberance and all of that. Okay. But the point is, at least for the past three years, you've been dating this person. Uh, one way or the other, you must have like let this person know that, ah, see, I had it really rough during okay. my school days. Um, but it's something I would not like to talk about. But I, I knew I've done Best. all. Like when I was dating my wife, uh, I think I told my wife certain things. As I see, I did some funny sh anyway, okay. and she, she might be interested in some of them. And yeah. I will let them have that. Okay. These are, these are the things I think. And she might not just be interested in something. Say, I better go forget all those things. Okay. Fine. So if during the course of discussion, because that's some of the. The, the 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 things you need to look at while dating or during courtship okay. that you have to express yourself. These are some uh, things I've done uh, that are not really okay. becoming. And um, these are that. All right. So, okay. sorry, let me okay. say something. Then what not happen if you are saying like if you are talking like this right now? What not happen to um all things that pass away? All things that become new. We will give our life to Christ. What not happen to that? So are you trying to say that? Oh, 
if someone gives a, if someone actually gives their life to Christ, everything is. If someone give their life to Christ, everything is now. Um, can I come in there? Uh, okay, let's say somebody um you belong to the school of thought that um you shouldn't sorry. Yeah. No, no. no I'm, do that. I'm just somebody, saying I'm because some people would like listen now. We this thing. Sorry, let to put, Sorry for cutting short. This show is we are not just only discussing here. Yeah. We still want our viewers to leave their their own um, solution on the comment section for us. So some of them might be like, okay, I'm a Christian. I've given my life to Christ. So are you trying to tell them that? those things are waste that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is that let's say for a woman that um in the past was a prostitute okay. and she has slept with a hundred men yeah. and she has given her life to christ mm-hmm. can she on sleep with the men <laughs> no thank you but then she doesn't she's not a different person that doesn't mean that that it happened okay you understand now? see so, um they when you talk about you giving your life to god or to christ Fine, there is a statement in the Bible when Apostle Paul was asking God, he said, as in, I think he was he was having this pain in him, and he was asking God to like let the pain go off. And the reply he got was, My grace is, is sufficient enough for you. As in what he has been enjoying from God is enough for him. That will not stop the pain. At least these are things that you really need to live with. Mm-hmm. So the, the past is like a seed that you've sown. You already sow the seed. The seed will definitely germinate. You like it or not, but that will not stop God from not forgiving you or using you for exploit. But you sow the seed. As you mean, in the course of doing of uh, living those uh, the rough life, she contacted the uh, HIV. Will, will the HIV automatically leave her alone? No, it's, it might be there. But the miracles. See, we are secular here, and let's take those uh, uh, spiritual fantasy out of the scenario and stop deceiving ourselves. And this is the problem we are having with Africa. We are so spiritualistic that we see reality and let it be. Wow. We so it's so... high time we begin to fix reality. This is how it is. Fine. If miracle happen in the course, you just imagine somebody, maybe because of a uh, living rough life, you've aborted all sort of, ab- uh, you've done all sort of ab- uh, abortion. abortion. Now you've left with no womb, as the case may be. Now you are expecting miracle. You don't marry one brother pastor. Expecting miracle to come in automatically and develop a womb. See, you do. You know what you've done. Let brother pastor know that. Say, I left. This was the kind of life I lived, and this was what exactly what happened. And of a truth, I have no womb. So if miraculously you not your stomach not get protruded and pregnancy comes, oh hallelujah, thank God for that. But if it didn't come, you just take the reality and stop wasting your precious uh, resources on sowing so seed. From one church to another because you are looking for miracle so we should keep that aside so you li- you've lived this life you know you've you've set the wrong foundation is a seed that you've sowed that seed will definitely germinate okay. and you face the consequence at least you must strip the fruit of those seeds that you've sown yeah. but that will not stop god from not using you to make exploit so if brother want to forgive sister because uh, your past is your past fine but let me be sincere with you here there is no way this relationship will work. You like it or you leave it. So the better option is even Matthew's option. The better because option, the, the better the option here, no, no. The, pa- the better option here is this. It's not Matthew's option because Matthew, Matthew is a, he, 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 he is snake, like somehow. He's corny. Uh-huh. He's, he has already set the the path wrong. Okay. The best option this, here is this. Eh? Let's sister take her baggage, this Akaya, and mm. take a walk. There are so many uh, brothers out there. That will that will definitely take her for who she is, okay. uh-huh. and let uh, brother what was it called uh, the Matthew's Stanley. brother Stanley forgive uh, the lady Sandra Sandra and let them move her because definitely even if they end up getting married tomorrow, this same brother Matthew will still come in with his uh, what was it called with his uh, corny like uh, structure and look for a way to put a son that to that to that relationship. A blood brother will talk for you. Yeah, he will true. continue to be there. All right, sorry. I know you are inching to comment. So you are free. Start commenting. Start giving us your opinion about this particular issue. So, Naomi, what is the summing of everything in your own? An advice, maybe to the youth, or maybe in conclusion of everything. Okay, so um, the conclusion of this matter is that. <clears throat> I mean, um, the woman, the lady in question, 
she would know what is best for her. I mean, marriage is not two days, three days, two years thing. It's forever. If you are sure you want to live in that family with that, that you know, he literally becomes your brother, brother in law. In law. Uh-huh. So are you sure you want to? Every time you see the person, don't forget. It keeps coming back. It keeps back. coming back. Uh-huh. So I remember the boy said, "No woman has been able to." As in, okay. Uh-huh. Let's not let's not assume that maybe Brother Stanley now they've not started consummating. So when they now start them, you now be comparing Brother, brother Stanley's Stanley arts and, and Brother Matthew's arts. So are you sure? If you are sure you want to live with such um, circumstance, then by all means go ahead. Um, and, but if you are sure, you know you don't want to. It's not the best. Just take a walk. Okay. Like, take a bow and leave the all right. For, the for Stanley. Stanley, um, the past is in the past, if you really look at it. And for Matthew, come on, man, grow up, yeah? And for everybody out there, all these things, they don't really pay anyone in the end. The youthful exuberance you get, so it doesn't pay anyone. If you know you are in it, kindly remove your hand. All right, Nosa, so what do you have for the guests? Um, my last, my word, my advice for the audience okay. is this. Um, we know that youthful exuberant at times can be mind, madful somehow. That, like when people say, ah, this is not mad, as in like mad, eh, things like that. So, mad, mad, eh, that, a word, word like that. It can be, you can be in that situation at times. We've seen uh, some secondary school students taking shisha, put on social media and all of that. You are doing it now, fine, you feel that nothing is happening. But of a truth, it is already, it's already on social media. One day, your kids will grow up to see this thing. I, I just That's imagine true. what my mom and you might you might happen to to to, to nurture these self discipline children that will just see it and it affects their morals. Yeah. It affects their mentality. So we know that we during youthful period we want to explore, but while we are doing it, we should do it with caution. Uh, we should do it as if there is a tomorrow. Okay. Not that it ends today. Yeah. And then uh, the parties involved, I think uh, the best thing to do to me, uh, irrespective of what, whether you are saying it rightly, whether love is shocking you, okay. this one is doing you, no. Let's just, let the whole thing go like that. Sister, take your bag and take a walk. There are other brothers there looking for you. Brother, just do more research. You'll see pretty dancers out there that fit you as well. So, Brother Matthew, I think it is high time, like my sister said, grow up. Grow up. You can't just be living in this shadow. Because one day, uh, monkey go go market and I'll come back. Mm. Thank you very much. You guys have really done justice to this. In fact, I'm blown, I'm so blown with your contribution so far. So that is much we can take on today's show. Follow us on our social media platform. On YouTube, Facebook, Instagram at ZOSTV Ninja. Bye.